First question is from Andrew Woodruff, 15. The barbell push press uses momentum to allow more weight for the shoulders. What are some other muscle groups and exercises that really benefit from added momentum? Oh, that's kind of a cool question. Yeah, so it's not necessarily the momentum, um, although there are some momentum can provide some benefits, like helping you get past the sticking point in the well, lift. But and really, also explosiveness. Yeah. That's yeah. where fast twitch. It's yeah. the speed. Yeah, it's the speed that you're getting the benefit from. A push press is a faster press than a strict a shoulder press. Yeah. I will say this: nine out of ten times, you should do a strict press. Well, it's it, speed and load. Right, because you can move more weight, so you're moving more load, and it's speed. So those two things are the t- the two factors that you're you're are the two major benefits that you're getting. Yeah, but you could also get incredible value from speed with a light load if you're explosive enough. Olympic lifters do this all the time. Yeah. Um, what muscle That's groups true. can can get benefit from this? All muscle groups, but that doesn't mean you should apply this to all muscle groups. I think for some exercises it lends itself well, and other exercises. It doesn't lend itself very well, you know, like uh, if you're going to do like a overhead tricep extension, explosive, you know, momentum-based tricep extension. I don't think the val- the benefit outweighs the risk uh, from doing that. And if your goal is just to build a good, strong, solid, you know, muscular physique, you could probably never do movements <clears throat> like this. And again, I think, you know, explosive, fast movements – they have some value, but you need to to you need to have good stability. You need to have great form, good control, because the risk of injury goes yeah, up. Yeah, it exposes the cracks. Anytime you add acceleration into the mix and you haven't uh, worked on stabilizing and being able to uh, decelerate properly, then you know that's where you, you put yourself like at high risk. So it's it's more of a high risk thing, but you do get the rewards of the fast twitch response, and that's something that if you're not working on that at all, uh, you know that's a major benefit uh, that you know actually is going to produce some size. To, to the muscle and some strength that you're not going to get just from, uh, you know, your, your slower cadence type uh, lifts. I, I see a lot of, I actually see a lot of benefit from it, especially for the advanced lifter, right? So I, I saw huge results uh, by doing that. I didn't really ever train power. It just was not a focus of mine. Now, when I was competing and having to see progress, right, it really challenged my my programming and diet more than I've ever challenged myself personally to, to string you know, several years of crazy consistency, I really had to pull every trick I had, like every everything that I knew I've learned over the last two decades in training, which caused me to do things like this. I would have never done a heavy push press uh, in the past. I just, was, I'm not a power lifter. I didn't see a tremendous amount of value in it. To your point, Sal, you can get tons of gains with never ever really utilizing something like this. But when you're kind of pulling everything out and you've never trained this way, I, my shoulders blew up because of heavy yeah. heavy push presses. Mm-hmm. I was not using utilizing that. Going to that was great. Now that being said, it's I think of it the same way teaching someone basketball or any other sport, and when if it's like teaching someone a spin move, a you know behind the back pass can be very valuable if you have built an incredible game of, of all the foundational moves and exercise and you can handle the ball really well, there is going to become a time in the game where throwing a behind-the-back pass, if you learn, know how to do that really well, can become very valuable or a, a crazy between-the-legs crossover type of deal, right? But if you can't lay the ball up well, you can't dribble with both hands very well, you can't pivot very well, mm-hmm. you can't do all the basics very well, training this way has it will hurt you more just like it would yeah. in a game if you can't do those fundamentals and you're trying to do fancy moves in a game your girl ball's gonna get stolen from you you're gonna get, get poked loose and it's not, it's not gonna benefit well, you very much also and, and to your point of like uh, there's not a lot of maybe barbell exercises i mean olympic lifts obviously that's like something that uh, people know right away like this is about acceleration this is about speed it's about technique and form at its highest you know level uh there are other alternatives. So this is where I really like the kettlebells and the kettlebell swings. Uh, and that's because you're, you're getting that snap and that power out of derived out of your hips. And so that's really where it's sent, like it's center to everything. And even in your, uh, push press, like you're, you're getting that snap and power from that, that hip hinge and that, that really fast, uh, powerful snap that you're going to get from the hips. And so, uh, the, the kettlebell swing addresses that beautifully. Uh, and it's it's pretty controlled and safe in terms of learning how uh, to utilize power in in your programming, uh, as well as medicine balls. Medicine balls. I like things where you can take weight and you can get rid of it, and so you don't even have to worry about the de- deceleration. 
uh, part of that movement. Yeah, bringing down a push press to your chest improperly, great way to hurt your shoulder or even hurt your your rib cage. I, I tell you what, if your mentality going into speed or momentum based exercises is all about being able to lift more weight, you're doing it wrong. Okay, so if you're just motivated, if you're doing curls and you're like, you know what, I'm curling the 30s, I want to curl the 45s, and so you get your you start to swing and get bad motion. Right. That's the wrong reason to to do these types of movements. Don't worry so much about the weight. Uh, use the appropriate amount of weight, which sometimes and oftentimes is more weight. But if it's just a way for you to lift more weight in the gym, you're using it wrong. Well, you have – I mean, the, the question is like what other – we didn't even address what other muscle groups. I really see lots of value in every other muscle group except for maybe your – Buys, tries, and calves. Yeah. You could do like a right? pen lay row yeah. for your yeah. back. You could do for uh, you know explosive push ups, chest pass to the wall. Yeah, you for know, that. Even bench press with speed. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, even if you got a, if you got good form and technique with the bench press, doing that with a light light low yeah, and explosive tosses, mm -hmm. do all kinds of stuff. 